How's it going, everybody? Uh, it's Gorilla Frilla, and this is probably the most entertaining gameplay I've ever gotten. I had so much fun when I was playing this, it was ridiculous. And uh, I hope it doesn't go over 11 minutes because that means I'll have to re commentate this. But, yeah, this is me. I'm using the MP5K FMJ with uh, Slide of Hand, Sign Power, and Ninja. And have you guys noticed how if you use Slide of Hand, Sign Power, and Ninja, you can seriously pick up any gun in the game and you'll do good with it? That's like the the perfect class. It reminds me of COD 4 because in COD 4, everyone used stopping power generally on their class and you could pretty much pick up anything and do decent with it. <clears throat> it's like simple to pick up a sniper in a gameplay and then start doing your sniper thing and that's if you run out of ammo on your SMG or whatever. But, um, yeah, the MP5, uh, MP5K with the side power and FMJ, it is a great SMG. It's it feels like a assault rifle, like the amount of power you get out of it. It's different because like the UMP with stopping power is like a really strong gun, but this thing feels just like it it does like a little bit more work at close range. This definitely puts people down fast at a close to to medium range kind of. It has a decent medium range on it, especially with the FMJ. It feels like it reduces some recoil that you get with them. Um, with like the silencer, I don't know, I just can't, I can't use this gun silencer at all, it's just a piece of crap. It's bouncing all over the place and it feels like it has no power. But when you run the starting power on the FMJ, it feels like it makes up for the power. And the FMJ kind of, I don't know if it makes it stronger, but it, um, it makes it feel more steady, I guess. If that may, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but right here I'm going through another flag cap fail. I just don't. I don't know why that happens with everyone trying to go for gameplay. It doesn't happen often, but every single time I seem to get a gameplay, s some weird stuff starts going down. Some fucking glitch or some shit in the game. But, I <clears throat> pick up this guy's from the last noob tube. If you pick up noob tubes from the other team, then punish the other team for using them, which means kill the other team with these noob tubes. Right here, some guy spawns and gets you from the back, because. I wasn't looking at my radar enough, and I really should have been watching my radar in that situation since no one was in front of me, and um, and I didn't have to, yeah, I didn't have to worry about anyone in front of me, so I could have focused on my radar and just get a feel for everyone was at, and then make my move. It's really important to to try to know where people are at before you go and attack them. Like <clears throat> right now, I know this guy's up here shooting out this thing because I hear him and I see him on the uh, map. So. Uh, I take out my RPGs and I um I take him out like it's nothing. But like how I said, this game is like one of the most entertaining gameplays. The reason is is because I'm rushing. I have a gun that not a lot of people use. I mean, some people use it, but it is a different thing. And check out that tall sign; that's hilarious. I love that one. Hot shot with the white guy. <sighs> but um, it's a gun you don't see that often. Um. Meaning it's not the UMP. And right here, I just didn't feel like give a fuck. I just wanted to knife some people. So, I want to see how many people I can knife. And I just started running game on them. And just started working out. People weren't looking my direction for some reason. But it seems every single time I play Skid Row. How many knives is that? Like, eight or something? Look at, wait, look at this. Hit marker knife. Oh my god. God, that was such bullshit. I might fast. I don't know, never mind, but that. Ah, God, that was gay as fuck, man. But, anyways, um, calling in my care packages. Uh, I got, I got 345. I got UAV. <sighs> uh, UAV. Sorry about that. It's really late and I'm tired, man. It's, uh, UAV, care package, and sentry gun. And I'm still trying to get a challenge for a thousand sentry gun kills or something, so I've been running sentry gun a lot. But <clears throat> I found out if you don't have a, a lot of teammates, I mean, right here I'm playing by myself. I was playing with Panther earlier, but he had to get off, so I want to see how many gameplays I get by myself. And running sentry gun is perfect, because I'm regulating this whole hallway right now with my sentry gun. And you guys are going to see some sentry gun macking in a second trust you guys I guarantee have never seen this much work with one person's sentry guns 
because it is straight gas. And um, it's like a triple spray right here, plus a sentry gun kill. Um, you, I told you guys this gameplay is just fantastic. I love it. They keep spawning around B because that's just how this map works. If you're on B, people will still spawn around you. So, oh, right here, I knew that, since I just capped C, I'm gonna. I just assumed that's going to be running out from C through the front doorway. So I disbanded with explosives and I got him. And you know, more sentry gun game. If you've seen that, my kill feed stays stays debuting my sentry gun kills. You know, just other constantly in the kill feed. I think I end up getting like 25, 30 sentry gun kills. It gets it gets out of control. But um, my sentry gun's been on the stairs for a while, so I'm gonna work my way over there just so I can get another one up in that spot, just in case if it breaks soon. And um, just checking all my corners. Here my sentry gun actually does break, so put another one in that spot since the other one did so much work. And right here I want to make a, uh, a move for C because C is a... Uh, if you're getting cats and they have the dominant flag which is B on this map, you definitely want to just keep running around taking it and keep fighting for the outside flags just to keep your points up, keep it a fair game. So when you fight for that middle flag and you get it, you still have a chance. I put that sentry gun up in that window up there just so anyone jumping down or coming through that middle way to come attack me at C would get mopped by it and then I can just watch this door. So I only have two doors to watch or one door to watch while oh, my sentry gun's out. <clears throat> my sentry guns are just... Uh, just the kill feed is just staying grill of frillo at the little ugly sentry gun sign but... um. At, at that point, I pretty much just knew, oh, just, RPGs and AT Force are fantastic on this map for when you have B and they're taking C, they, they, uh, I can't even explain it, they're just the best thing to have because it will defend that flag like nothing else. You can't really curve a Semtex in there because it has a weird, um, like the wall's a little too low. If you threw a Semtex in the C flag, it'd probably hit the roof or something. But they keep trying to put the pressure on C, and that's why it's important to have B in this map because you can really protect uh, the C flag. So if you give them A, they have to come through that tractor room, and you can hang out on the boxes like where I am right here, just this doorway or down the middle. You can get on the sentry gun even if you want to. And um, it's really hard to break a spawn trap in this map for um, for when you only have the A flag. So I tend to work the trap towards A when I'm playing against another team on this map just because it's uh, it's the easiest like uh, trap to maintain right here I call it another sentry gun and since they're spawn trapped at A this time rather than all over the place I uh, oh, I got payback on that guy oh, right here I was watching the map a little too much I was trying to go back and forth and that guy crept around while I was watching the other red dot on the map but I'm gonna put this one up right here um, just because they're coming from that tractor room so much and I was getting kind of frustrated right here because I was really trying to drop the sentry gun but every time I got over or I died like three times in total and I'm lucky I didn't lose it right there but uh, the guy who killed me learned his lesson because I just dropped the sentry gun on his ass pretty much he's laying down behind the bookshelf I think I think I saw him when he killed me but <clears throat> uh, that guy got pretty lucky because he got a kill with the predator on skid row which is not the easiest thing to do in most cases get a headshot on that guy and uh, they said they're taking C so I ran over there with my RPGs out just because um, when, s when a fly is being capped you want to be holding whatever will kill someone the quickest so if you have explosives definitely use your explosives first if you have like um, a handgun secondary versus like a UMP you want to have your UMP out obviously because you don't want to run into uh, that situation and lose and lose the gunfight because if you lose the gunfight or the fight in general then um then they're gonna cap the flag and you you risk losing points so you definitely want to watch out for that um, I keep seeing red dots popping up around the C flag, so I constantly run back just to try and defend it. There's a guy up in that house that was shooting at me, so I hide from him. And um, I knew he didn't have a, a silenced gun, so my teammate would find him. So I was just waiting for my teammate to get to him. And they read catch B, but, but when the score is about this high, it really doesn't matter. 
Because we have 20, they have 60. They need 20 more points. Or they need 40 more points, and we need 20, so. Uh, they would have lost either way, probably, unless they three capped us at one point. Which we we weren't going to let it happen because these guys weren't terrible, my teammates. Um, they were decent. Uh, I n normally used to having people that stand around and do nothing the whole game. And I really like this part. I was. This guy had a scar, which he could have taken me out easy. And I ran out of ammo. I was about to be out of ammo. So I just. Just ran and stabbed the shit out of him. And. Look at. The. Mer the steady aim, I mean the um, the sleight of hand stopping power ninja. Like I said, you can use it on any gun. Right there, is quick scope someone, but uh, it was nothing for me. But I'll check you guys out later. The scores, the game's over. I got 69 and 17. See you guys later. Peace.